it's Monday morning. The uh, rain has washed my car. Got a whole six mil of rain. Nothing compared to uh, what we need. Just gonna get the cherry picker going. It's not been run for ages because the joystick's not working properly. So kind of start that up. This is loaded with wood chip, ready for going out. Bit of dust coming down the yard today. Let's try this now. Pack. Just moving the drill out the shed so we can tip some barley in there. They've turned up with some oilseed rape three hours earlier than we expected, so we're just quickly moving the barley so we can get the wagon tipped. Rob's just backing the 77 up. Slight issue with the chipper. The hydraulic bed's been going up and down. It's got the chip underneath and it's cracked this panel. It's dropped down and not the turbo hose off. You can see there. So we've got to let it cool down, jack that back up and then weld it back in place. You see under there. Let me climb up. It's a chip has been building up under there and it's been going up and down and it's been squashing that floor. Because when the digger's over there, it can't see this. And uh, it's pushed it down. Like I say, knocked the turbo hose off. So I think we weld the lifting eye to the top, lift it up, weld it in place and then put the turbo hose back on. But that's the job for tomorrow when it's all cooled down. There's a bit of dust in there, but I'm going to show you something in a minute. The big fan in there, radiator is getting a little bit blocked so it's sucked in the, the cowl which turns it from a square hole to a round hole so Rob's unbolted it so that we can get inside and pull it out but we're just blowing the heat exchanger out better but there's loads of dust so we'd have to just turn around to put the fan on to create a bit of draw so we've got well to pull this dust out the air because this is obviously full of like really fine dust the fine dust that only sticks to galvanized paint so clean it out now. Yeah, so this square funnel to hole imploded. But I've got a picture of it Friday, I'll show you. That's all straightened back into shape. We've just been cleaning this from this side, blowing all the stuff out this way. And then we're gonna slide that back in, bolt it back up, put this rubber, I don't know what you call it, spacer between the two to seal it up and then off we go again. But well, there's quite a bit of dust in this, so we had that just blowing slowly, keeping the dust moving, so it wasn't lingering in the air in here, because it's still in here. This plastic bit here, rubbery bit, pushed it and folded it over, so when we were sliding that in, it's been catching and shredding it to a little bit of duct tape repair. So we get this funnel in now. It is not going back together easy, it's quite big and floppy, it's kind of like, misshaped and we can't slide it back in the gap without damaging the radiator so i'm just going to get a crowbar so we can pull it a bit differently we're going to put a ratchet strap around it and tighten it up because it's like a big handle so we can lift and pull because there's nothing to get on but if we can, hopefully we can get our hands in here and lift any choice there yeah go on tighten that up no, just going to hold it like work well that worked next time we might weld handles to it so we've got it in now just got to get it these bolt holes through here, line it up, look straight in that that we've been doing it. This is the trouble that people have when they put weight on, trying to get skinny jeans on. I'll pull this over here, but it's jamming. bottom of the thing is stuck up we can't get it down so we're trying to thread wire through the holes try and mold it everything to try and get a grip of it i'll show you and, uh, yeah so this lip bolts to that but on the bottom it's pushed in and we can't quite get it to sit down flush i'll show you see the that needs to come down at the top we can't you can see it bending up here well then we're going backwards and forwards to the workshop for tools all afternoon um Good job it's been windy today, otherwise I'd have been frustrated, they're not doing any spraying. Nearly got it with uh, two molies. Just can't quite get that in. Got that pry bar in. Only got like six inches underneath it. Oh. One left to go, four in. To me, to you. You the dust off with this first. Yeah, yeah, doesn't it? 
good old duct tape. You know what Mythbusters they made a boat out of duct tape once? Just realised this has equal size wheels despite one of them popping in the hot weather. The MB track has equal size wheels. Uh, everyone says, where's it been? Well, the ignition switch isn't working properly, so it's parked around the back and um, it doesn't want to start. So we need to fix the ignition switch. This has equal size wheels. The Zerion has equal size wheels and I used to have a fence Xylon and I think it's my one that's for sale at the moment on Facebook Marketplace. So I obviously have a thing for tractors with equal size wheels, which I'd never actually realized before, but yeah. I think they look good with equal size wheels tractors because I think they look like monster trucks, don't they? So that that Zerion is far capable of driving over a car, I think. Right, Guy's here and he's going to do the birthday bumper. So he's on it yesterday and he's on it again because he's written his own name. So <laughs> Two go birthdays. on. Two birthdays. So off we go. Billy Owen, Tom Edwards, Dan Clatworthy for the 19th. Don't know why it's so early, but Connor Dixon and James Staley. There you go. Happy birthday, everyone on there. Anyone whose birthday it is today that's not on there, happy birthday. Sir, uh, what's that you're wearing there, James? There is no nothing better to do than drive a big blue tractor. Or a black one. Take your top off, Joe and Amanda, because they have New Orleans. Oh, what are you doing, Chester? Stay alone. This year, didn't plant any sweet corn, but some planted itself. Uh, it's not really had much fertiliser, so it's not a very big cob, I don't think. But I don't know whether it's the birds planted it or mice buried it or whatever. But we've got got a few plants just on the edge of where it was last year. So I'm going to see if I can find one for me tea. Don't think I'm going to find any. They've not gone brown enough, the tassels, so they're not... The cobs, I don't think, are full enough or sweet enough. So they'll come back in a few weeks. That's if they're not in the way. We've had to flail them off and drill this field with wheat. Because this is the field that had the volunteer rape on it. Then it had some spring wheat here, and then it had a bit of a patch around the outside where there's a drill miss, which is where this scruffy bit here is here, which this volunteers sweet corn's growing in. So, yeah, uh, we might end up spreading that muck over this week and then drilling it if it stays dry. I'm going to lost the dog now as well. I think it's chased some crow or something. It's over there somewhere. I'll find the dog and get the buckwheat. Oh, there's a hair. Good job the dog into the hair. Otherwise, he'll be chasing that boat. This little mound hollow is where the, the hair just got up from, but it was sat on a thistle. Can you believe that? Here he is. This was what was supposed to be the second field of oil seed at sunflowers. Anyway, it didn't grow, so we drilled it with tillage radish, I think it was called, which is this. So there's little, just be little seeds in these pods. And the other thing that we drilled in it was the buckwheat. So this is buckwheat, so you can see now, that's like the little seeds forming. They look really like little bits of wheat. Anyway, it's quite a mixed bag. It's uh, it's not gonna be combined. I don't need the seed. It's just, it's created a bit of biomass. Sop the soil being burr, and I think, but we, I think that fixes N as well, so it puts a bit of nitrogen back in the soil. But what we'll probably do, so we're shooting over there, what we'll probably do when we're ready, we'll glyphosate it off and we'll just drill straight into it. And hopefully the wheat will come up through this and it'll come up just as well as the bean field behind it. All in one block, because it's not going to be sunflowers this next year. I don't think I've ever seen Chester so tired, but he can't even jump on the seat from running around, then he's that tired. I'm just going to drive into the sunflower maze so I can show you what's going on with the sunflowers. They're all actually ripening quite nicely now. There's not many left at all still flowering. Uh, we'll get to the centre and I'll show you better. Don't you be running off again? Yes, yeah, so if you look now, the little flowers that are left on the seeds, they're all drying off now, dying off, and then we should be left with these black seeds. So that's what we're going to combine. Now, Will I have to put a fungicide on it or is it that dry it won't need it? Should we just leave them to ripen? Don't know. Something's been eating that. There's obviously been birds standing on the top there and nicking these front seeds. But that's, they're all just, yeah, ripening off. Probably be another month or so before we can harvest them. Probably be a similar time. 
to when the summer barley's ready. Oh, actually, while I stood by the buggy. So you know what, Chatsworth, we were looking at the Polaris ones of the day. Well, on the early hours of Sunday morning, they nicked three, I think, buggy things and two quads, I think, were stolen. Anyway, they recovered two of them from the showground that had sort of been hidden in Chatsworth. Well, they'd seen it, I think it was an 18 plate. Um, Amarok towing one out at five o'clock in the morning. So someone had obviously weighed the job up and gone back for him. And apparently the same happened at Norfolk show. It was quite bad really that the security at the show didn't sort of notice who was taking stuff. So little warning to anyone out there that's, uh, that's got these or go into any shows and stuff. Make sure all your stuff's secure overnight because uh, there's obviously thieves going around looking at, at easy targets. But I mean, if they're nicking them and they're brand new, you know they've obviously got a good market for them haven't they if they can sell them on as brand new but you think the chassis numbers and everything you know, like the computers in them now would say where they were especially that little one that had its own computer that you could geofence so it couldn't be driven where it shouldn't but yeah just want something to look out for there anyway they, like i say they have recovered two of them but i'm not sure if they found the rest yet obviously cheshire plowing matches coming up loads of people are saying andrew should take this i don't know whether he wants to because after the last show we went to if someone took his linchpins and his airline off it he's not so keen so what else should we take 936, whatever, there we are. Anyway, there's a tractor pulling evening on the 10th of September. I'll put the video as the outro at the end of this video. So Kate, who is in charge of the tractor pulling club that we were, work, that we were, that we were messing with at the Kelso Steam Rally, as um, she's running it. So I'll put the flyer at the end if anyone's interested in going to that. And if we get a chance, maybe we'll take someone up for a play as well. Looks like another arrival from Cotton Eye So I think it is Polo's. I'll open it and have a look. It is actually uh, some polo shirts and some of uh, the pink hoodies for ladies with larger breasts, is the easiest way to put it. Because uh, the other sizes didn't go up, the, up, up above, I think, a 14. So there's a few bigger ones in stock now. So check them out on the website, the link's below. That's about it for today. Anyway, I'm locking all the tractors and putting the alarm on the shed because um, there's been a spate of GPS thefts again the last few weeks. Uh, not quite in our area, but half an hour away in two different areas so not good at all thieves just seem to be everywhere at the moment by the looks of things anyway that's it for today thanks for watching i'll see you all tomorrow hopefully we'll get a bit more field work done hopefully it won't be as windy we'll get some spraying done but also if we get more rain it's no bad thing because we've only had like seven mil so far which is not a lot in the last few months but it should push the oilseed rape on a little bit and hopefully that wheat should start to germinate as well that we sown on friday so that might even be up by i don't know another week from now perhaps next monday we'll have a look Anyway, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.